he sent Eric out to go on Newsmax and defend him. And um, I guess Eric's job, like right now, Don Jr.'s, you know, the the vice president in charge of Blow and Ivanka's the uh, um, the queen of invisibility. She and Jared are off hiding in, in the Middle East someplace. Um, and, and I guess Eric is uh, the patron saint of Blurry. Is it just is it just me? The background's in focus. All right, maybe it fixes itself. I doubt it. Joining me now is Executive Vice President of the Trump of, Bur uh, of, of Blurry International Trump Organization, Eric Trump. Big E, Eric, good to talk to you. Eric Big E, my man. So my man. Um, and uh, bowling's got fresh marzipan this week. It looks like. Uh, like he had the he had the tank topped off. Oh, your lawyers, your dad's lawyers are <laughs> your lawyers, your dad's lawyers. What's the fucking difference? You both had to plead the fifth four hundred times. Have been meeting with Jack Smith, the special counsel. On yeah, they've been meeting with him. They've been whining and screaming, and so why won't they listen? <laughs> are we going to see yet another indictment this week? Week uh, of your father. You know, Eric, it's a, it's a very sad thing. You know, I don't know what to so expect sad. from these people. Oh, uh, that's good. Not only is he, he he visually blurry, but his mic's fuzzy too. Way to go, Newsmax. High quality. I, maybe it's not your fault. Maybe this uh, um, this millionaire, in air quotes, um, can't afford a good mic. They've weaponized the system so badly. Uh, it's so the fuck is he? Is, is this on a phone? The fuck? It's so crooked. It's so corrupt. You see people's wives. Uh, you see the platforms they take. You see people's wives, the platforms, they, the who? Uh, it's so crooked. It's so corrupt. You see people's wives. Uh, you see the platforms they take. You see the way they've weaponized systems in New York. And um, what about their wives? You mean Ginny Thomas? And all these very. Did he mean, did he mean lies and then almost said lives and then bailed out and said wives? Shit. States, you see what they did in, in Georgia, right? I mean, they are. <laughs> yes, uh, we, we, we saw what they did in Georgia. They taped your dad trying to commit a crime. They recorded him. Yeah, we're, we're all aware of that. <laughs> Maybe if he hadn't tried to commit the crime, there wouldn't be tape of him doing it. But you know what I mean? I'm, I'm at this point, entrapment. I'm blaming the victim. Hell bent on taking down Donald Trump, no matter, you know, what he hasn't done. It doesn't matter. Uh, there was <laughs> No matter what he hasn't done, like followed the law. Um, lived inside the law. I don't to fabricate anything. We saw it with Russia. Um, we saw three years of hell. Our entire family did. Uh, <laughs> yes, three year, three years of hell. I can I can tell. Uh, hell. Well, I I mean, there's an argument to be said for that because to me, uh, killing endangered species would be hell. Like if 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 I went to hell and they're like, what do you do every day? You have to go shoot endangered species. The last of each kind. We send you to the Earth plane and you kill one of the last animals of that type on the planet with a gun. And it's real. It it actually kills them. And you have to do it over and over and over again. That would, yeah, that'd be, that'd be hell. But I would, you could hardly say the country put you through that. You did that willingly. That came out that was totally debunked, but it had ruined so many lives. It cost hundreds of millions of dollars. It was legal. Mm, no, your dad pardoned a bunch of people because they admitted guilt. Fee after a legal fee. We didn't even get an apology from anybody until, you know, I mean, obviously the Durham report came out and really spoke to the true corruption. And then what do they do after all of that? After torturing somebody <laughs> for three years unjustly, they raid a person's house and they go. <laughs> a person, just a person's house. They just raid a person's uh, wedding rental that they stay at part of the time for just for just to do it. Not because they have classified documents, just because it's there through it's the it's the mount everest of the fbi you know their young son's room and they go through melania's closets and they go through everything else and um they have you know 30 fbi agents a storm and that's it they didn't even look in the room where all the classified documents were hidden and tomorrow law go and they go through that and they put them through hell again and then they conjure up investigations in new york and they conjure up um and weaponize district attorneys and attorney generals all over the place i mean they are hell-bent on taking Donald Trump out, no matter um, how they do it, and well, no, I mean, obviously they're trying to use legal means and going after his crime specifically. If it didn't matter how they did it, I, I'm sure they could wrangle up, you know, uh, a drone strike 
or uh, you know, some sort of like uh, egg. what would you do? They could sue him into oblivion. And Eric, you know, we saw this. They tried to get to my father through the executive branch, and it didn't work. And now they try. They did. You mean the people he hired, the people he chose, the hashtag the best people? They tried to get through him. I come after him? him civilly, and they try and come after him criminally. And it's part of the game, and it's part of the corruption we see in this country. And no, no, it's really not. It it it's kind of specific to your fucking dad. Uh, the FBI is losing a lot of trust. Um, I can tell you out there on the street every single day. People. Yes, because Eric is out on the street every day. Part of his new show, Eric Trump on the streets. We'll say I, I no longer trust. Ask him, what do you think about the FBI? Who the fuck are you? Hey, aren't you that rich dickheads kid? Law enforcement in this nation. That's actually a very scary thing for the United States of America, who's about to, supposed to stand for the rule of law above everything else. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's taking us so long to bust your dad. I'll tell you what they don't do, this this uh, overzealous Department of Justice. <laughs> you know what they don't do, Eric? They don't. But they don't what do, they don't go after the Biden crime family Go after anyone named Biden. They seem to love to go after people named Trump and they don't go after Biden. The reason why I say this is, well, if they love to go after people named Trump. I mean, they got a bunch of kids to to go through. And of course, I guess that's why they stopped going after Ivanka, because she doesn't have the same last name. It's really just it's a it's a branding thing. It's in the news this week that the FBI is stonewalling a House investigation into Hunter Biden by not turning over some FBI, a document, a whistleblower's document that could implicate Vice President Biden at the time, President Biden right now. For some reason, it feels like a two-tier justice system, Eric, one for Trump and one for someone named Biden or maybe anyone liberal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Any any liberals, we don't even have to follow the law anymore. It's so great. I mean, crazy. Like, I just, I park my car on a car in a handicapped spot and I pay uh, for my groceries in arson. It's great. It's good to be the king. And, and Eric, I think that's what's depressing for me, right? Listen, Hunter Biden's a screwed up kid who's got a lot of problems and everything else. God bless. <laughs> Some I know a lot about. People with, you know, drug addiction, and we all know many of them. Uh, Do we? But enough about my brother. Uh, it's obviously something that's very close to, to your heart. Ouch. Leave the man alone. You know, but when you look at what Biden did, Hunter Biden specifically, when you look at these shady deals, when you look at the nonsense, when you look at the fact that the nonsense. Yeah, that's the part I want. When are we going to actually criminalize nonsense? Now, of course, Eric, you would be in jail just for speaking. I mean, the fines alone, you would. would I don't care how much money you have. Literally, the grandchildren of, of Biden's are getting money from Romania, getting money from China. Uh, yet when my father was in office, hotels that we owned way prior to the presidency, they would file emoluments lawsuits against us because somebody would go up to the bar and order a martini and they say, how dare you sell a martini to a foreigner, right? So yeah, that's what they did. Yeah, that, that happened all the time. They were checking people's, at all of Trump's properties, they were checking people's passports. It was, it was straight up Nazi stuff, man. Anybody, a foreigner, anybody. Walks up and buys them. As, well, mostly it was specifically martinis, and only if they were British and they asked for them to be shaken, not stirred. They were concerned that that person might, just might be, a spy. So a business that we were in long before my father even contemplating getting into politics, we have to go to the Supreme Court and say, "Listen, it's not an emolument to sell a martini in a hotel that you had years." Yeah, that, uh, remember that case? Remember that came, remember when that was the, I mean, uh, obviously we were all just glued to our television sets during the whole martini case. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Eric. Good, good story, bro. <laughs> Before somebody took the presidency, somebody who's out of the company has nothing to do with the company. But yet, you know, Haley it, it Biden feels like, it feels from, like, countries all over the world i mean well, what's what's wrong with that like, millions what are they providing millions millions you know it feels like they go Eric after you've been to these hotels you know what service i sell we sell beds we sell you know uh, obviously great hotel rooms great experiences we're in the hospitality great experiences you can come in there you can have in in the uh uh executive suite you can come in and uh sleep in a piss-laden bed and uh with the sheets have Classified material printed on them. We sell experiences, Eric. Business, f &B. What service are they selling? That's what I'm wondering. No one can yeah, answer the question. So, they don't look at I, you know, No the one FBI knows. doesn't look and, at and, them, but they go after us all day long. 
that's the problem. The well, I, you know what? Maybe it's maybe it's just lack of information. Here's an idea. You want to if you can, you know, obviously you can be open. You can be up front and you go, look, by contrast, I'm never going to plead the fifth. I'm going to let people know the services that I sell, no matter what they are. That's the problem. I mean, look, if you want to be fair, are you supposed to be fair? Is justice is supposed to be blind? You know, the little balance with the well, lady, lady liberty or justice has, has a, a... What a... What a... Chicks. I don't know. She's got a thing, a purse or something. Just, I don't know. Remember, zipper hood. I forget. There's like a riding crop. It's an extra $600. It's that place Tucker Carlson goes downtown. Anyways... Yeah, go ahead. Blindfold on because it shouldn't matter who you're investigating. You want to be fair. You want to mm -hmm. go after a Trump like that, then do the same thing to the Bidens. Or how about this? You just equal equal handed across across the board, Eric. Yeah, how about this? Just let Trump walk because there's nothing there to go after Biden for. So you know, don't look at either of them. Listen to Bill Barr today. On Listen to Bill Barr. Just one other crazy example before oh, we get just, off that. Look at all the... Look at all of you yeah. know Joe Biden's boxes. They were at the Penn Center. They were in Chinatown. You know, it's funny. There's a leak every single day about Mar-a-Lago coming through the Washington Post. Every single day. Do you ever hear about a leak coming from the Biden side? Do you ever hear about a leak? No. No, it's, it's almost like either there isn't anything to leak out or they, they are better at executing the, the job that they are doing than you guys are. Um, it might be that you are surrounded by grifters like yourself and it's a bunch of ticks fighting over uh, a dying dog down there. That might be that. And you know why? Because they don't even bother. They don't take the time. It's not real journalism. They don't go after them. And, and there are no leaks. They, they want to leak it to damage one person. They don't want to leak anything on the other side. Well, because again, you can't leak a lie. So thank you for admitting that all the stuff that is coming out of Mar-a-Lago and that the Washington Post is printing is true. Thank you very much. Eric Trump, uh, for confirming that. That's great. Everybody, any, you know, anybody who's watching from the Washington Post, uh, by the way, there's somebody peeking over your shoulder at your desk. Um, and I think it's one of your kids because these are guys, all, they all work from home now. Um, <laughs> but, the, you know, I would just like to say he's confirmed it for you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, you can't leak a lie. You can just lie. But if something leaks, then it's true. So that's why there aren't any leaks, quote unquote, coming from the Biden side, because uh, most people like Eric are lying about what they've they've heard because they're hearing lies from Comer or these other folks. But on the Mar-a-Lago side, you, this, leave it to Eric to admit that the truth is being told. If they're even taking the other side seriously. Yeah, let's take a listen to Bill Barr today on CBS. If I had to bet, I would bet that it's near. You believe there is enough evidence? Well, they won't indict if there's not enough evidence. But from what I've seen, uh, there's substantial evidence there. Yeah, well, a lot of help he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hashtag the best people. You know what, you know what, Eric, I, and, and thank you, Eric. No, please, Eric, after you. Um, I, I got to say, what kind of an asshole would hire a guy like that? You know, you can answer that question next. I, I'm just curious. I mean, you'd have to be a complete shithead. Like, just never think things through. Just be completely deluded, self-involved, blind to all reality. I mean, honestly, who picked that guy? I mean, Bill Barr clearly uh, looking for his next job as an analyst on CBS. They won't indict if there's not enough evidence. Look at the DA of New York who indicted my father for $130,000, spent hundreds of millions of dollars just shutting down the city to bring him in here. Uh, hundreds of millions of dollars shutting down the city. Now, other way around. Your dad is involved in hundreds of millions of dollars in tax fraud, and it probably cost him about $130,000 to shut off a couple of streets. Graded him through a city over... A Paraded him through a city. I did like that part of it where they had him like like King Kong, you know, in that weird cage. Confidentiality agreement, something that's signed uh, every single day. Yeah, every, every single day people sign confidentiality agreements with porn stars they fuck while their wife is home with their newborn. They in, you know, uh, all, all across America with two people, uh, both of whom admitted nothing ever happened, um, you know. And oh, this is so awkward. Imagine having this conversation about your dad on TV. That's his dad. Your fucking dad. 
you're in a position, your father is in a situation where you have to discuss this about your fucking dad a lot. They won't indict? Are you kidding me? They'll, they'll indict my father. You know, they will say yeah. they can indict a ham sandwich. They'll indict my father. Well, he looks like a ham sandwich. Also, the glove shot, very weird. For jaywalking. They'll indict my father for going five yeah. miles an hour over the speed limit. They will make up something to fabricate. Your dad can't drive. Also, what the what the fuck kind of picture is? What? Again, I, I, I gotta say, I think the people at Newsmax secretly fucking hate Trump. The pictures they pick, it's like they do it on purpose. Maybe the guy, I mean, obviously he has some shots that he likes. These aren't those. Okay to indict my father because he's leading the Republican nomination. He's leading. Yeah. I, what is that? What pictures can, are they only, can they only afford the, like the cheap ones? Is it, is there a thing on like, uh, on those like photo websites where like, I'll say something, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say the, the, the good ones. I, I sell those to CNN and other places. And you, I'll give you this one for three bucks. All right. I'll take the lot. In the entire field. He's running ahead of DeSantis by 40 points. They know he's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? I, honest to God, they're just fucking with him. That is. Ah. He looks like a, a saddlebag for a cowboy named Cheeto. Be the presumptive nominee. They know he's going to be the guy that's going after Biden, who's probably the most disastrous. <laughs> like, that's. De-engineering. Uh-huh. Michigan gave us Motang. Uh-huh. President, this nation's ever seen. We're a nation that is in decline, my father. <laughs> We're going to be appointing very pro-crime judges. <laughs> Here I am like an idiot. He says that all the time. We're a nation that's failing on every single front. No. No, we're not. Unless your goal is, you know, 6% unemployment and the dollar to be worth 30 cents and the stock market to crash and I, China to keep making all the, you know, the the electronics that we use. If that's your idea of success, then sure, I suppose. And now all of a sudden you've got one of the most effective presidents in the history of this country, if not the most effective. Joe Biden? I, I, I agree. I mean, you can't argue with the fact that that infrastructure bill is the shit. Who's going to actually plead that case to the American people in a very loud way, which my father can do better than anybody. Mm, I don't know. I've watched the videos. I don't, I, honest to God, I don't, I don't think so. I, it's ass. I mean, honestly, if he can do it better than anybody, then how did he sign off on that fucking picture? How did that happen? What is that? I honestly don't fucking know. And they want to take him out of the race because they know none of the other candidates in the Republican field can do so nearly as well. Why would Democrats want that? If we want to take him out because the, uh, the other Republicans can't run as well as he can, if we know that about those people, then why wouldn't we want to run against them? We... we or run against him, I suppose. That's what they're trying to do. It's plain and simple. They're weaponizing the justice system. They're weaponizing the FBA. We've already seen Yes, I hate it when they weaponize the FBA. The FBI, uh, you know, is is old news. It's the, yeah. Seen this before. The FBA. Hmm. <laughs> they weaponized the DOJ. They're weaponizing local prosecutors all to go after a person that they don't want to be commander-in-chief of the United States. Yeah, but because he's a criminal. I mean, that's why they don't want it. It's not just abstractly. They've seen what he's done. He was he was president for four years. They, he's not an unknown entity. They're like, oh, we don't want any more of that shit. It's that simple. It's that simple. He was, hundreds of thousands of Americans were dying, and he was like, it'll be gone by the spring. A light bulb up your ass. That'll solve it. China's doing a very professional job. Best deal ever. And, and everybody's like, what? What? Who who let this fucker in here? And I, by, you know, everybody, I mean the voters. Very simple. And you have a right to be fired up and pissed off, frankly, Eric Trump. Yeah, Eric. I mean, I'd be mad if I was that blurry, too. 
We really appreciate your time. And, and again, he does appreciate your, your time. And folks, Trump said it a million times. If they can do it to him, they can do it to any one of us. No, it's the other way around. They can already do it to us, dumbass. People his, of his level are the ones that get away with it. That's how you have an even system is that those guys don't get away with it anymore. Don't believe me? Ask fucking Martha Stewart. In fact, they may be after you and me. They just have to go through him first. Eric Trump. No, they absolutely do not. They don't have to go through. There's not some fucking line at the DOJ where like, well, he's, he's next in the Pez dispenser of justice. So it, until we get him, we can't get anybody else. Trump, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for being here. And, and thanks for making your own, you know, whittling your own microphone, at, you know, in, in your backyard in Manhattan. Um, also, um, are you blurry or did you, did we set that camera and then you're just dumb and you took like a, you just moved your chair back six inches just to be a moron? Thanks, Eric. The right thanks, Joining Eric. And, and, I, and, and, I, and my, I would like to say that we need to defund the F, FDA immediately um <laughs> so uh just to recap um that's uh that's the that's the villain that's the that's the team we're up against they've got uh, they're firing on all cylinders they know everything they they they're sharp as a tack um and uh smart as a whip and they're they're, they're at the top of their game and they're from central casting and there's no stopping them now Ain't no stopping us now. It's Eric. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I would just like to uh, remind you that there was there's a lot of weird trepidation about the Trumps of the world and Tucker Carlson and all these folks, and they put these videos up. And I I have to say I can see it in how people are. Oh oh, there's people. They shouldn't be able. To, oh, like, what if they? Uh, and there's people that watch that, and they might believe that. Blah, 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 and then we watch it, and you're like, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm nope. That's, nope, there is no there there. These idiots are dunzo. And it's just a matter of time. And we need to stop pretending that these people have any power or intelligence at all and start recognizing them for the dipshits that they are so that, you know, and, and we as we address them, honestly, without any fear or favor, as uh, Rachel Maddow likes to say, when we address them like that, then the people that follow them start getting the idea that, you know, and, and we might have some trolls in here, and hi, trolls, welcome, um, that those people will suddenly get the idea that it, it, it there's no upside to backing these dipshits. And they might, some of them, move on to actually some, you know, a somewhat functional political ideology. I'm, I'm not banking on it, but at the very least, they might not think they can keep selling this horse shit to everybody as medicine. So, anyways, until uh, next time, love you guys. Uh, see you tomorrow.